I don't know if you've noticed, but in recent months, a new music genre called Botanica has been emerging both on social media uh, and here on YouTube as well. It blends electronic elements like glitches, crazy articulations and very dense arrangements with sound design made with organic, natural and liquid sounds and I do really think it's a very impressive genre. It is primarily sample based and two main techniques are involved. I'm talking about granular synthesis and all spectral effects. Now, after some research, I couldn't find a dedicated synth for Botanica, so I decided to make one in Plug Data. It is free, it is available on my Patreon page, and it is called Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis works exclusively within the Plug Data environment. If you already know what it is and how it works, well, good for you. If you have zero experience, don't worry because at the end of this video, I'll guide you through installing and setting up both uh, Plug Data and Photosynthesis. Now, let's take a closer look to Photosynthesis. Let's see how it works, how it sounds, how to use it, and I'll catch you at the end of this video. Okay, so the synth is divided into five sections plus the oscilloscope. We have the main rhythmic section. This is a generic area where we can define the octave range. Let's turn on uh, the synth and let's turn on the first voice, which produces tinkles. We can change the octave. We can change the main tempo and we can change the decay time for these tinkles sounds from tiny bells to very percussive and placky sounds. We can also change the rhythm using musical time subdivisions or we can automate these time subdivisions using rhythm. Then we have mitosis, which is a delay. It has a delay time, which is called replica, and a delta knob. This one is used to create a difference between left and right channel. Then we have light, which is an infinite reverb with filter, with a low pass filter. We can change the color frequency and this uh, sound is animated in the stereo field. By default, it's moving very slowly from left to right, from 0.2 Hz up to 4 Hz. We have an impulse generator. Uh, impulses are filtered, so they sound like artificial raindrops. They have a rate control that changes the modulation of these impulses. And as you can see, these two sliders are moving faster than slower. And we have density, which increases the internal clock. Last but not least, we have Sparklify. This will produce aquatic and liquid sounds.
Now let's take a look at how to install and properly set up Plug Data. You can navigate to the official website, the link is in the video description, click download, select your operating system, mine is Windows, now launch the installer and make sure to install Plug Data both as a BST3 and a standalone application. You can open the standalone application and you'll see something like this. If this is your first time, you won't see the recently opened pro projects. You can navigate to the main menu on the top left corner. You can select settings. Under path, you see all folders. What we are looking for is the abstraction folder. Now simply navigate to this folder path. Make sure not to confuse abstractions with abstractions heavy lib or abstraction cyclone, abstractions else. Okay, this is the abstractions folder. Now we are going to select the photosynthesis.pd uh, file you can find on my uh, zip folder and you simply drag and drop it inside the abstraction folder that's it now you can move to plug data you can create a new patch you can double click type photo and it will already show photosynthesis you can select it press enter and this is photosynthesis now double click on a blank area once again and type output and add the tilde sign press enter as you can see we have the output pin for left and right channel and here we have input pin for left and right channel so we drag and drop the left channel and the right one great now we are in edit mode meaning that if we select an object we can move it around if you want to use plug data you need to move in run mode you can click this icon or you can switch from edit to run mode by holding ctrl and clicking on a blank area when you see all these dots you are in edit mode when you don't see those dots you are in uh, the run mode now if you click on photosynthesis you can move sliders tweak faders and so on now you can turn on the volume on the output module turn on photosynthesis and that's it in case plug data won't recognize your sound card by default it's very simple main menu settings audio and here you can choose your driver your sound card and you can test both left and right channel. This was everything you need to do to play with photosynthesis inside Plug Data. Since we installed Plug Data as a VST3, we can now load an instance of Plug Data as an audio plugin. We search for Plug Data, we can load the VST3 version. And as you can see, what we're looking at is the exact same window we were looking at a few minutes ago. You can load a new patch, double click, same process, photosynthesis. We add the output module. We connect input with output. We can turn on the volume. We can turn it on. Let's turn on some faders so we can hear a uh, sound. As we can see, we have signal getting into, but if I want to record this performance, now it's receiving signal from input one, which uh, is where my microphone is connected. I don't want the input, so no. And I want to record output, record output stereo. Now I can press record and I forgot to send the Reaper output to OBS. Anyway, trust me, this is photosynthesis playing in the background. If you want to suggest any improvement, if you have any tip or idea you want to share, please drop a line in the comment section down below. I always read your comment and I'm always very happy to, to hear people having idea and sharing with all of us. So feel free to share your experience and uh, possible improvements that I can apply to photosynthesis. 
That said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.